Please note, the following Windows tutorial requires you to edit parts of your registry. If you do not feel comfortable with editing your registry, stop watching this video right now. I'm not liable for anything that may happen to your computer as a result of trying to perform this tutorial. Hello guys, Mr. Me is here back at his desktop with another awesome cool thing you can do with Windows 7 and Windows 8, Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 possibly, I have, have not tested this on Windows 10 and Windows XP probably because you know why wouldn't it work on Windows XP. So you know how you can hide files and folders like take this folder for example you know, I can right click on it and go to properties mark it as hidden and apply and then poof it's gone I mean it's still there you can still access it but it's gone did you know you can apply that same concept to entire partitions or entire hard drives or like flash drives or anything like that you can do that and there's a very simple and also not simple in the same manner way that you can do it. First of all you're going to have to figure out which drive or partition you want to hide. And to do that go into my computer, well computer, or just think of the one you want to hide. But in this case we're going to be hiding Windows 7C. You can tell I've I've hid this one for a reason and I deliberately changed the icon before doing this recording so yeah let's not discuss what's on that so yeah, on to what this is about since we're gonna pick Windows 7c you know you you don't really need this window so you can close it what you're gonna do is you need to go into your registry editor now beforehand if, again if you are not comfortable with modifying your registry, exit this video right now. I'm not liable for anything that may or may not happen, so yeah. Now I do have it pinned on my taskbar as you can see, but you may not know how to access it, and so we're not going to do it that way. So first of all, to access it, go to your start menu and either in your search bar or in your run box let's use the run box, I haven't used that in a while in the run box type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T or reg edit and hit enter now UAC probably will prompt you even if you are the administrator and if you are hit yes and if you're not an administrator have the administrator type in the password or then again he shove you away you know because he's wondering why you want to edit your registry but <laughs> anyway hit yes to open it up and the registry opens so where you exactly you need to go is as follows you need to go into H key current user you know let me maximize this you need to go into H key current user software then you need to go down to Microsoft Windows current version policies and then in policies explore now if the key explore does not exist under policies you can create it by right clicking on policies and going to new key and naming it explore simple as that but since it's here let's continue in explore in the right pane you need to right click and hit new d word 32 bit value and you'll need to name this value no drives as follows capital n o no space capital d and then rives I arrive alive okay now this is the really tricky part in order to hide the C drive or whatever drive you chose you're gonna have to take two and raise it to some power 
Now, it goes, you know, just goes in numerical order. If you wanted to hide the A drive, you would raise, you would take two and raise it to the zero power, which is one. If you wanted to hide the B drive, you know, if you have an A or B drive, you would take two and raise it to the first power, which is, you know, just two. If you wanted to hide C, which we're going to do, you would take two and raise it to the second power, which is four. And if you want to hide like D, you raise it to the two and raise it to the third power, which is whatever that is. And so on and so on, all the way to Z, which you take two to the 25th power, which is a really, really outrageous number. So, you know, get, you know put the registry editor aside for a minute. And then open up calculator. You know that's if you don't know how to <laughs> do powers and stuff. But for this case, you would take two and raise it to the second power if you wanted to hide the C drive, which is four. Now keep four in mind and go back to your registry editor. And in the no drives, you need to modify the no drives value. So double click on it or right click and hit modify and make sure you have decimal selected instead of hexadecimal it's a lot easier if you do decimal and this number corresponds with decimal so I guess that makes sense so get rid of the zero and replace it with four and hit OK now the drive is hidden now I've had I've had weird occurrences where I needed to restart the explorer process from task manager and other times like you know just before this where I didn't have to so you might need to restart explorer and you might not need to but let me see see C is no longer visible now do not fear that it is like gone or whatever because obviously if C was like formatted or erased obviously you wouldn't see your desktop you know if C is where your operating system is but you can still access whatever's on it by going into any file windows address bar and typing in the letter followed by a colon BAM it's there Okay, so now that you've hidden one drive, what if you wanted to hide more than one? Like, say you wanted to, oh, hide C and D. You know, <laughs> Motocross Madness 2, freaking awesome game, I need an analog stick control, but anyway. So, say you wanted to hide C and D. It's simple. All you have to do is take, the, all you have to do is raise 2 to the second power for C, 2 to the third power for D, and add those two numbers together. So you take 2 and you raise it to the second power, you get 4, and plus 2 to the third power, and as a total you get 12. It's pretty simple. And you go back to your registry editor and modify the no drives value again. Edit decimal once more. Again, decimal is a lot easier. I mean, if you want to go and figure out the hexadecimal value, you can go right ahead. But I'm going to keep this easy and simple. <laughs> so go back to the calculator and take the 12 that represents C and D and type in 12 into the decimal box and hit OK. Now you can put the registry editor back down, put the calculator down, or not, don't matter. Go back to computer, and C and D are both missing. Now again, type in C colon and it's there. Or type in, you know, D colon and that's there. Everything, every one of those is still accessible, even if like, e even if you can't see it, you know, a hidden folder is still accessible unless you, like, don't have the privileges to open it. But, yeah. You can, hi you can hide multiple drives. I can even hide all of these 
as well if I wanted to. Now granted I wouldn't want to, but yeah. Now if you want to unhide the drive, it's actually even more simple. You don't have to figure out anything at all. So to unhide the drives, you can go back go back to your registry editor or open it up again if you closed it. And go back to HKey Current User Software. Microsoft, Windows, current version, uh, policies, and then Explorer. Go all the way back there and go back to the no drives value. Edit the decimal. Let's see? That's weird. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know hexadecimal, but. And change the decimal value from whatever it is, you know, 12, since we hit C and D, and change it to a 0. And open up computer. Poof, they're back as usual. You can double click. You can feel really good that you can just double click and don't have to enter weird letters with code. Uh, yeah, that's Motocross Madness. I don't need to do that. Um, yeah. You just open it up. You don't have to do anything or whatever. It's, it's awesome to click and not type in random letters with colons. But anyway, guys, um, that is how you can hide drive partitions with Windows 7, you, you know, without any other ridiculous programs or anything like that. And I will be including a file that has all of the letter codes, which, you know, if, if you can think of the letter and where it stands in the alphabet, you can probably find the 2 to the power and raise it to it and hide the drive, but I'm going to include a picture with all those letter codes and what you need to enter so you don't need, so I've done the hard work for you. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this awesome tutorial and I hope to do more of these in the future, so I'll see you later. Goodbye.